lucky. He used all the nine lives if he was a cat today, that's for sure. Very, very lucky. Kevin is from England. The pins and needles in his arms are a possible sign of spinal injury. Two swimmers come to the tower. Is this OK? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, right. Where is he? He's right out amongst the rocks, is he? Dislocated shoulder at uh, Flat Rock, so the boys are going to venture onto the road and hoon up there. This rescue is in one of the most difficult locations. Sean took his chances on Flat Rock, but turned his back on the ocean. He wasn't really looking, and his wave came over him, and then he was just on the ground, like, oh. Nice pain. Eight out of ten. Nine. If we give you pain relief, we'd have to call an amber. The green whistle offers powerful relief. We can't release you after we give you this. But if 19-year-old Sean takes it, he must go to hospital. I'd recommend calling an ambulance, though. Oh. So if people do like this, yes, yes. If I get the pain relief but and I try and pull it back, no? Oh, I wouldn't try and pull it back, no. You might, you're just going to do more damage. Uh, yeah, we'll have an ambulance out here. We've got a male with a dislocated left shoulder. Yeah. I'm calling from the lifeguard tower, but the lifeguards yeah. are out on flat rock. It's a bad dislocation. Oh, I just chucked this in your mouth. Nice deep breath. Sean's learnt a painful lesson, but his friends haven't. They take their chances on flat rock while Sean waits for paramedics. Keep holding that. You hold it. You use the other arm, then. prefer to be this one. And then when we start getting a decent effect, we'll take you up to the car. Managing a stretcher up the cliff is near impossible. Sean must walk. Listen, listen to me. Because we're in such a, an area like this, the best way for you is to walk out and I'll hold it, OK? The green whistle isn't providing enough relief. All right, when we get you in the shower, we'll give you something. Yeah, he's getting there. Cool fight. I don't know what the attraction is. Seriously, it's like they jump off and get washed back up and get cut up and dislocate your arm, and it's not like you're surfing and pulling a barrel or anything, but I don't know, the kids seem to love it. Harry's on the jet ski, come in. Go ahead. Got a severe head, head gash at the boat ramp. A boy has slipped on the notorious flat rock. The quickest way to get him to medical assistance is by jet ski. On shore, H and first year trainee Jake get ready to treat 14 year old Aaron. Oh, it's just a little bit of a cut. You might need a couple of stitches, but uh, we'll just clean you up a bit. The left. Feel you head that way, Tommy. No, sorry, to the right. Big time. Yeah. Lifeguards need to check if he's suffered more than a gash to his head. You got a headache or anything, mate? Do you feel dizzy? No, I don't think so. Sitting in there with Jake, just to, just to make sure, in case you might get a bit dizzy or something. Hang on tight. What's your name again? Aaron. Aaron. My name's Jake. Up in the tower, Dino notices something else isn't quite right. What happened to your snores? You've been fine. No. 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 You've hit that as well? Oh, uh, yeah. Nose looks broken. Sure. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I didn't see that. Oh. Did you hit your nose as well? Yeah. Were you yeah. fighting? No, I fell over. Does it hurt? Uh, not really. Do you want to go to the hospital, dude? Mum and Dad get the news. Right? Rather go. I break my nose and I need to. I fell over on a rock and I broke my nose and it's got stitches. Okay, bye. Hey, come on, pick you up. Yeah. I feel sick. Dizzy. Just sit down, mate. Sit. Come, we'll sit on, we'll sit on your on the bed. It might be. Put that on you. Yeah. Put that on your shoulder. That's diving um, the water and then slip on the rock. Uh, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. Makes it to the tower after scrambling around the rocks. They've been best buddies since kindy. I'm kind of worried because I'm pumping as usual. Yeah. 
he always hits his toes or like hits his head or something, which is really annoying for me because I get scared if he's like gonna knock himself out or something. And today, he hit his head. Finally happened. There's a, there's a tinny coming in just off North Bondi. It's got a person that's fallen off the rocks. They've picked him up. Lifeguards treat him at the Bondi boat ramp. He's just fallen off the back of the rocks out near Bambuffa. And um, I think some of these fishermen have come around and picked him up and brought him off to here. Uh, they were fishing on the cliffs. He slipped in, bounced down the cliffs, and I saw his head bobbing against the cliffs, too. He was dead. He was finished. And then, huh? He's got pins and needles in his hands. Um, he's absolutely so lucky to be so, so lucky. He had used all nine lives if he was a cat today, that's for sure. He's very, very lucky. I'll never forget it. It was like, it was, I said swim, and he couldn't even say, I can't. He was just sort of, you know, and his head was going a bit under and down. And... I would have lost the boat before I lost him, I reckon. I would have swam with him. You got pain anywhere, Joel? Pins and needles in your hands. OK, but you don't remember what's happened, is that right? Kevin is from England. The pins and needles in his arms are a possible sign of spinal injury. I think when he fell in, I think he got slammed against the wall. That's where he got all these cuts from. Okay. Secured on a spinal board, Kevin will soon find out whether he's got more to worry about than cuts and bruises. I'll see you later, buddy. I'll leave my number and we can catch up and have a beer over it one day, OK? No, mate. No worries at all. No, yeah. no problem, mate. A couple of good ones there. That's not hurting down there. No, that's just blood. 15-year-old Kate has experienced the dangers of flat rock for the first time. I'm not jumping off any more rocks ever. <laughs> Kate has more than a few scratches. She'll need some stitches. So I'm like really cut up and stuff. And um, we're just getting help now, and then I'm going to get the ambulance to the hospital. And have it. I'm not shaking. Yeah, like, there's heaps of people. You don't have to worry about it. I'm by myself. The other side's light, and how are we going to manage all the water? I dare say we're going to get. I just called my mum, and she's going to come down to the hospital. But Kate is not Flat Rock's only victim. She's the first of a steady stream. Whenever we get a bit of a swell and all the kids are on holidays, Flat Rock's pretty much the place to be, and without doubt, it definitely gives us our most first aids out of anywhere. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, mate, just to let you know, they're both, um, they're going to take two of the patients to the hospital. Yeah, no worries. Well, it's got, um... Maybe two big gashes up here as well from flat rock. I've got like 30 cuts just in my knee. No more flat rock. And it's going to get bigger tomorrow. Will it? And you've missed out. Ten victims and 20 worried parents. Flat rock lives up to its reputation. We're going to be on Bondi Rescue. It's like follow the leader, isn't it? Like we did it when we were kids. I pretty much watched him do it, so I started doing it when I was a kid. <laughs>